Good morning, so it's November 24th. My granny just arrived. I had no idea. She was riding a taxi here on her own, and I'm like, someone's not getting there like 5 something in the morning. So I'm just gonna get ready and prep some stuff and bake maybe in a few hours. So I'm gonna start with the um, potatoes here. I wanna show you guys right here. Uh oh. So these are russet potatoes and then where am I going? Sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna wash and drain them. Alright, so already peeled, washed, and cut into cubes. I'm actually gonna put this back in the fridge because I'm not gonna be boiling it anytime soon. So I'm gonna start on the sweet potatoes next. Sweet potatoes are done. I love this color. I can't wait. And this goes in the fridge as well. Oh my god, I'm like having some kind of anxiety. I literally just knocked. Well, at first, when I was cleaning the potato skins and dumping into this plastic bag here, I missed and I spilled half the water left over on the ground. And then, like, I literally just knocked my green beans hot mess so anyway i'm starting on the green bean casserole so i'm just gonna put it in a bowl start mixing it up and then pour it into a um, cake aluminum foil pan and bake it in a few hours all right so i just followed the recipe from behind the um, campbell's cream of mushroom so like two cups of cream of mushroom campbell's version um, one-fourth of black pepper. I did put a little bit more than one-fourth and then a cup of milk um, and also um, two uh, teaspoon of soy sauce and then I got the two cans of uh, green beans right there. I'm also gonna add mushrooms because I love mushrooms as well and then also I'll be adding the French onion, fried French onions in a few minutes. So now it's all mixed, I'm getting ready to add a little bit of the French onions and then uh, later I'm going to add some more on top when I'm ready to bake it. <coughs> I just used the other way you guys. A little bit. And mix it together, it smells so good already. Almost forgot to add the mushrooms. I might add some more cream mushroom on top. Looks almost dry, but we'll see. Gonna start putting this in the fridge and let it bake in a couple hours. Hey guys, so it's like almost nine o'clock. I'm actually gonna get ready. Granny wants to go with me to grocery stores to Myers to get persimmons. So I say go with me because I'm gonna pick up chicken at um, probably Boston Market. Um, I haven't been in years, but I wanted the half chicken tray that feeds like eight people, or whatever. And I'm going to attempt to do Black Friday shopping, and I'm broke, but credit card. But um, I haven't gone years because I never cared to go. But I've been wanting the Apple TV, and my uncle just told me because he works there. But I'm not going to do the one he works at because I know for a fact that's gonna be traffic crazy towards that area. But um, I go to one closer to me in Grove City, and plus I want to go to Walmart. But anyway, Apple TVs. Whichever model, 25% off and $88 32 inch TV because I needed one. And um, I'll find other things in between, like little gifts here and there for Ava for Christmas. So I'm super excited. The second Apple TV is for my parents. So I hope I get it. Like, I'm afraid like, it's gone or like I'll be trampled or something because stuff you've seen the news. But I went back in 2011 and nothing bad happened. I got a few things here and there. So get ready and oh yeah hey guys trying to get this at a good angle just got to Boston Market had a little anxiety a few minutes ago still hang right now I'm trying so hard not to like freak out just something happened earlier and it was really annoying so I made to Boston Market they did not have to have chicken I was hoping for just a whole chicken so I bought two and it smells so good I haven't been to um, 
Boston Market years, so I've had it a lot just because when I worked at fine practice, they would bring a whole bunch. So it smells so good. I'm so excited. Heading home now, I need to start baking stuff. My uncle was like making some kind of pasta dish. So I don't know if that's part of the meal or it's just for himself. Um, and then Granny, I thought she was supposed to go with me, but she wasn't. She keep because she wanted to go to Myers to get some persimmons. So Erda said, "Okay, go go with me um, while I pick up the chicken. We can go there after that." She's like, "Okay," and she had to go get ready. And then like when I was ready to go, I said, "Okay, I'm gonna start the car now." So I'm sitting in my car waiting, freaking like five plus minutes. I'm like, "Okay," I literally just told you I'm waiting for the car, and then like a little bit over five minutes pass and nothing. So I'm like banging on the door and obviously like special uncle is sitting there cooking because I hear sounds and like no one's opening the door because I didn't feel like taking my keys out and restarting my car blah blah blah. I'm like banging and then my granny's like she's like uh like oh I'm ready and she's like oh I'm I, I, I help cook. I'm like what the fuck? I'm like sitting here like a dumbass in the car like forever. So now I literally like screamed backing up my car to get on the road like oh god he's just special but whoo what's that word Woosa, relax I just need to stop stressing about or getting annoyed or having anxiety about the things I, I know that I cannot change and it's the same people that annoys me the same people that gives me anxiety they are the way they are I just have to I don't know you guys Oh, the chicken smells so good. I can't wait to bake. And next door is actually baking a whole turkey too, so... Yeah, it's hard work. Like, I don't know how to bake turkey. Maybe one day I shall try, but no. And plus, my mom has this thing about not using an oven, so that's annoying too. But when I live on my own, I'm going to bake a turkey one of these days. So, I'm... Oh, I can't wait to make my stuff. Bring everything out and make the, the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, it's gloomy, it's rainy. Last year it was sunny. The uh, the year before that, it snowed, and I remember I slipped, so kind of wish there was sun. Um, I haven't heard from my mom yet. I did message my auntie there in Phnom Penh, which is the capital of Cambodia, and that's where my parents will arrive. She said some word in Cambodian. I'm not sure if she said she's waiting at the hotel before heading to the airport, or... She, she was saying that she's at the airport waiting. It's some big words that I don't know. Like, I'm fluent in Cambodian, but when it comes to, like, the more technical words, I don't know. It's like me having to speak Cambodian and um, explain, like, in medical terms, if I were to have, like, a Cambodian patient, which I do, but um, they speak English, so that's not a problem, but stuff like that. So I can, I can speak to get around or what I want, you know, basic Cambodian, but uh, I can't wait to get home. I don't know why. And then I was stressing, like, I couldn't find chicken. Like, there won't be enough. But they were prepared. Yes. Yeah. It's nine bucks. It's like, what, two, two dollars um, more expensive than when you get it at the grocery stores. But I bought two. So, it's a lot of us. And we eat a lot. But, you know, we can eat for a couple of days. So, I don't think it'll go to waste. Um, I love eating leftovers. They taste the best because all the ingredients and flavors are or more incorporated into whatever you're making. I just stay so good next day. I, I'm just hoping I don't screw up on any meals. Um, the green bean casserole, I made it once. It was actually really good, like two years ago. Um, the baked macaroni and cheese, I don't think I've ever made one. Like, I made a different version, like a Filipino-style one. But this is like, I wanted like a southern style. Like, anything soul foodish just sounds so good. I've had some in my life and it's the bomb.com at a restaurant so this recipe is a soul food southern style mac and cheese and then the mashed potatoes i'm not making plain mashed potatoes either i'm making like this um, sour cream version so i'm what is this car doing so i'm super excited it's a what sour cream and chives and cheese, cheddar, mashed potatoes, and then the sweet potatoes baked as well. And 
the green bean casserole that I mentioned already. Yeah, I made that once. It's pretty good. That one's simple, but I'm still looking at directions. It can't really screw up. Bake at 350. So yes, and then we shall probably get to eat like by 12 or one. So and then uh, the the shrimp tempura, and then I gotta cook rice. Can't forget that. So yay! All right, um, I should start stop because or not we can we're almost home yes it's gloomy i live in like a not so pretty area like i can't wait for a day when i have a pretty house and a little nice suburbs and a house or almost quick cutter that's my dream i don't know if i can afford it. i just live in like i guess you would call it a hood but there are worse places i know i keep saying the hood um i'm jokingly saying but it is not the greatest area either um it's old school looking houses everything's all beat up and messed up but we do what we can because that's what my parents can afford um but yeah, one day that pretty house with a nice dining table, nice setup. I did my best at the house that we live in with, you know, not much space to put stuff. But I'm using the same table that I used for Ava's um, first birthday. And it's set up against my parents' table. So I can do for now. And I used um, the same um, table covering gold. And I am using my um, Christmas mats that I got a year ago. Um, that looks pre-Thanksgiving. It has like love, hope, and faith type thing. So they're pretty, nice cloth. And I set up the pretty plates that my mom had in the cupboards in a bag. So I took that out and I also brought out the gold forks and spoons, which is nice. We bring it out during like special occasions like Thanksgiving, Christmas. And then I put out some uh, wine glasses. There, there's no alcohol, just um, taking out um, is this bus going? Oh god, what am I doing? I took out some... Oh god, okay, it is going. I'm freaking out here. I thought the bus was like broken or whatever. Didn't want to change lanes because this is late and I need to make a right to turn to my house. Yeah, glasses out. Nice plates out. The gold forks and spoons. Oh yeah, no alcohol, just um... I'm just gonna change lanes. This is really annoying. And then, and this car is really slow. And uh, what was I saying, you guys? Yeah, no alcohol. Just apple cider. There's a cranberry one. I got the regular one. And then just water. <laughs> Yeah, maybe my mom is like a bottle of like brandy, Hennigan, what well, not brandy, yeah, brandy somewhere. Yeah, Asians always got their brandies in their house. That's their drink, that's their drink. So I'm turning in. What are you guys thankful for? I know I complain, but I am thankful to be alive. I am thankful to have a child, a healthy baby. I'm thankful that I have met good people in life I'm thankful that I had issues with people here and there and they are able to look at the positive side and be the bigger person and understand and get along so I'm, I'm thankful for the little people that I have in my life that have made me feel okay when I'm going through stuff and I'm thankful to have a job I'm thankful to have parents and a, a, a stepdad who takes care of my baby parents who take good care of my baby so I'm just thankful to be alive yes yes all right I'll see you guys all right so this is the cheese sauce for the mac and cheese I just followed directions from this southern mac and cheese I found online and on YouTube so you guys look this is the stuff I added um, one fourth cup heavy cream, one half cups milk, salt and pepper. I didn't have any salt. I don't care for salt. Did add black pepper, and I did add smoked paprika as well because I love it. And then I add all the cheese. And this is the cheese I have: triple cheddar, which comes with um, Vermont white cheddar, sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar. And then also the Kobe Monterey Jack that she recommended. And then the um, Mix it all together right here. The noodles are getting, are being cooked right now. And also one cup of milk, one and a half cups of milk. 
and then um, the last cheese will go on top which is the smoked cheese it's in the fridge somewhere so yep and then the green bean casseroles are almost done halfway done I took it out and added the rest of the fried garlic so here is what it looks like and also forgot to add two eggs here's the pasta almost done give it a couple of minutes it was still kind of like soft but not nice and soft a little bit hard so okay here's the mac and cheese all mixed together and I'm getting ready to put the final touch which is the smoked cheese Ooh, looks awesome. So everything's almost done. The mashed potatoes were put in the oven with a little extra cheese on top. And it's on the table. And the um, sweet potatoes are also in the oven for a little warmth and stuff. And rice is cooked. And then we're, we'll get ready to eat. Can't wait. So I'm not to put the shrimp because it's already like enough. So yay, can't wait. Yeah. I'm in Boston Market order. Oh, I don't want it. Yeah. Turkey looks like yeah. rummy, mate. Oh, that was good. Oh, the first one to eat. He hungry. Yo, get out, get out. Think, get out. Everyone's here. Ava, no, Ava. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I don't have alcohol. Ready to grab. <laughs> so we're like super full. Ate, Alex ate a little bit. I ate freaking like two and a half plates. It was really good. I surprised myself. So like I'm counting the hours because I want to go to get um, Apple TV and a TV by Polaroid. I didn't know it had had TVs under names. I thought wow. it was just cameras. And um, for 88 bucks. And the uh, Apple TVs are on sale at Target and Best Buy. They're like 25% off. So I'm super excited. Right, Alex? Okay. Alex, did you like the food? Who, who's, who's the cook? What did you eat? What stuff did you eat? Tell me. Eat bread. Bread. What else? Mm, yeah. Are you still sick? No. Alex doesn't eat anything. <laughs> so tired. Tired. Hey guys, I hope you guys can see me. Um, oh my god, so I got to Target. I went to Best Buy. First place I went to was Best Buy. I got there with like 30 minutes early or whatever. So I'm trying to focus on the hit. Best Buy, there was already a line when I got there. They opened at 5 o'clock and Target opens at 6. So I only waited at Best Buy for like less than 30 minutes. Got in and there was only one. Um, oh, Apple TV left. And then it's like, shit! I thought they meant like bring the box to the front and they give the rest. And the lady was like, you need to bring whatever they have back there but the guy did tell me that's the only one left back there and it goes in the glass case in case people steal it so then I was like okay sweet so I got time to go to Target because Target opens at 6 o'clock and Target I was like 35 minutes early but there was already a long ass line all the way to the end like four stores down and it was worth it and I, I I was like, shit, shit, I'm not going to give you a map, and you still feel confused, and everyone's like overwhelmed and nervous at the same time, 
But I made it. I saw a bunch of people grabbing the Polaroid tea. It was like, where'd you get this? Where'd you get this? All the way back found. It was easy. This guy got it for me. It was in like a nice um, pile of different other TVs in a row all the way to the back side. So that was simple. And then the Apple area, you have to be in line. So that was a bit of a wait. Like 20, 25 minutes. So got that. This, this one, I'm not sure which one I got. But it's the higher gigabyte I think but the one from Best Buy is for sure the 64 gigabyte because I asked specifically for it this one's like I don't care just give me one and then of course I got the Polaroid TV so two iPad oh I can't talk I'm so tired I can't wait to get it home but just wanted to give you guys an update so yeah I am broke because I use my credit card because I have no money so I shouldn't be buying more crap I just really want this so bad one for Christmas present for my stepdad and one for myself so yeah so this is what I got Polaroid 32 inch for 88 bucks I just thought Polaroid was cameras I didn't realize they had a TVs too but I got both of the Apple TV one of them is 64 gigabyte from Best Buy and the other one was 32 from Target I'll get the bigger one and dad can have the smaller one Do you can you like save files and stuff like I have no idea but so excited and I'm officially broke and I'm tired so hope you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving I have work tomorrow I'm about to like dig on eat some pie because I've been sitting out there waiting for my love so yay all right so this vlog is probably all over the place but um hope you guys enjoy my cooking some of it half of it pictures of food i'm really proud of myself this year because i don't know sometimes i wish i had a big family an actual husband because i did pretty decent i'm not the greatest cook but i tried so and all by myself it's tiring now i can see how tiring it is for my mom to make all the hardcore stuff by herself because i was sweating and tired all right I'm gonna chill, eat, and relax. So excited I did this. Can't wait to wrap them. Can't wait to hook my thing up. 